a little bit too long. But wait, she did return with good news of a newfound life. And we can't wait to hear all about it. Please make welcome singer, songwriter, Grace Nachimera. How you doing? Hi. Good to see you. Nice to see you oh too. Oh my God. I know. How great. He's God. I know. He's he's amazing. <laughs> Mind blowing. Can you believe it yourself? He, I sometimes I don't know really what's happening because it's it's the most beautiful place to be. Right. Like ah, I'm in love. Like I'm happy. I'm everything that I didn't even think existed. So right. that is awesome in its own way. It's 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 crazy. The first time I had um of news about your salvation i was like oh. first of all you were quiet for a while yes and then everyone is wondering i would see people on social media just you know wondering how is she is she well yeah you know what happened to the music people had really fallen in love with you and yeah. your music <laughs> yes at the time and then suddenly it was more like i'm here to wow you for a minute and then i'm away mm. only for you to return with that good news i was excited you should have seen me like yeah <laughs> That's I was great. all smiles, Thank so I'm you. so happy for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The best decision you can ever make in your life is salvation. This is the one right here. Salvation is awesome. Hands down. Now mm. let's just trace back your journey. Yeah. With music. Mm -hmm. Maybe that way we can best understand who you are. Today. Right. True. Well, um, I remember the last song that I did was Twala Vyange mm -hmm. with David Lutalo. Mm -hmm. Before that was another one called, I can't say it, <laughs> it's, I swear it was crazy. <laughs> Thinking about it right now, it's like... Ah! You think about the songs that are you, You're like, are you sure? Ah. Well, but um, the last one was Twala Vyange. It was a nice, beautiful song. Right. And then after that, so much went on and so fast, so much happened right. so fast in a way that most people didn't understand me. I, there was a bit of depression. Uh -huh. <clears throat> there was challenges, so many challenges, left, right, center. Mm. Meaning financially, my home was messed with at mm -hmm. some point. But I don't know how to thank God for that journey because I'm happy that I went through all the crazy stuff that I went through. Okay, so usually um, mm. salvation Sometimes people mm. think, actually, when you give your life uh, to Christ, people will say, ha, abadechi morade, mm. like, what's the problem? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, like, know. it has to be a very <laughs> bad, horrible thing happening in your life for you to come, <laughs> to, come to Christ. Yeah. So um, at what point did it feel like it's all starting to be quite a drug in, 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 in your know, secular life? It was, it was a lot happening mm -hmm. and very many bad things happening at the mm -hmm. same time one thing after another i don't know how you could wake up and you financially things of course i was i was performing every weekend the yeah. shows stopped mm -hmm. i wasn't performing anymore so the income wasn't very good yeah. after that my home had an issue that is of course my home is very private i don't normally talk about it yeah. but i would say that i had challenges at, in my home mm -hmm. And after that, I, it came to my health. So really, God knows how to put you in that <laughs> spot where you see him clearly. Where, where he <laughs> yeah. And after all that happening, uh, I got sick. I got really sick. And every doctor I went to see didn't understand my problem. Okay, so this sickness is how? You, you have headaches, you have mm. I, I, ill? I, I got really ill. I had uh, headaches, of course. You, I, get, I would get fevers. Mm -hmm. I would shake for hours oh, yeah. uncontrollably. And I would um, get paralyzed sometimes. Oh. And then when I go to see a doctor, the doctor would be like, no, you're fine. Maybe you're stressed. Because we can't find anything wrong with you. Okay. I really got sick to the point of losing my life. I know for sure that I am here because God gave me a second chance. Was it that bad? Did it... Your bedridden, your... Can yeah. you describe the situation? Yeah. The situation is uh, simply described as a spiritual attack. Ah. Yes. 
that's the best way to describe it because there's no doctor who understands. There's no doctor who understood it. I, though everything started to make sense in so many ways, I remember being able to go to any doctor that I wanted to go to and because I could afford to go to any doctor, right. of course. But everything became useless. Mm -hmm. Then you start to see the important things. People leave you in, in, in a time like that because mm -hmm. no one understands you. Right. Um, I understood that money is just, is just paper. It's useless. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. Because there you were. You were almost... You could have just died yeah. with the money that you had and it can't save it, your life. It can't. And then I understood the, the power of God, the mm -hmm. power of Christ, the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. I say that a lot because it's true. And I got to the point of not being able to handle a phone. I couldn't call anybody if this attack was going on. I got really sick and scared and <laughs> clueless. I didn't know what to do. Imagine you can't pick anything in your hands. Yeah, like I couldn't even hold a phone. You're shaking. Shaking and paralyzed. Mm -hmm. okay. My journey was the weirdest one. I remember that's when I started saying, you know what, God, please give me a chance to raise my daughter. Mm -hmm. God, please give me a chance to be alive. Mm -hmm. If I am alive, if I survive this, I'm going to serve you. Then you start making deals with God. Yes, you bargain. <laughs> you start bargaining. You're like, I remember that so clearly. It will never leave my mind. I started making deals with God. I'm like, you know what, Lord? If you save me, if you give me a second chance, I'm going to serve you. If you give me this, if you help me through this situation, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. And, and before, let's, let's backtrack a little bit um, with before that, that time. Yeah. yeah? Here you are just doing your thing and stuff. Yeah. Did, what, what was your information or your relationship with God at the time? Yeah. Did people ever preach to you? Were you ever in a space where you're like, uh, this would work, I would you know, give my life to Christ? Mm. At one point, what was your attitude towards the whole salvation and serving? I, I got saved okay. sometime back, long ago, when I was 13. Oh. And then when I was 14, 15, everything just disappeared. Okay. I, I didn't go to church as much mm -hmm. as often. It would take me more than two years to go to church. Mm -hmm. it, really, that's the truth. So in this time where I'm starting to communicate and need God, mm -hmm. I was out there doing my thing. Right. I, I will not lie, I, I was out there I would go to clubs, I'm doing my thing. I didn't just living, your life. just living my life because at the end of the day, my spirit or my energy is that I'm a go getter. Mm -hmm. I figure things out. Yeah. I'm not the sort of person that just waits on something or someone. Right. <clears throat> so I'm always in control somehow. Right. So I, I knew I had this. Yes. And then I realized I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Reality change. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. I realized that I didn't have nothing in control. I was something was trying to take me from this life, mm -hmm. something that I couldn't see. I I couldn't fight it, and who else could fight it for me but Christ? Okay, uh, we'll pick up <laughs> from that story in a. We're talking about her spiritual battle, actually. We didn't know all these things hmm. were happening. Some people just thought, okay, you're just there, like chilling, or you left the country. Hmm. And then some people thought it's one of those, you know, drugs, you know, hmm. issues that really the artist face yeah. and all that. And lots of people had a lot to say. But, you know, the hmm. church prays. Now, the church, when I hear these, mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. It's beautiful, but the church keeps on praying for, like, the artists and just people yeah. to come to come. Christ yeah. and all. And I pray, too. Mm -hmm. So, when I hear this, I'm like, oh, my prayer also counts. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> okay. So, now, people might not understand just how serious these spiritual battles are yeah many a times um, we've had people on the show who would describe it as you know something was happening to me I mm. didn't know what was happening to yeah. me or I was just confused or I was just sick mm. as it is 
But you went to the doctors and they failed to yeah. tell what was wrong. Yes. Just how bad was this? Okay, I can give you a, a one time that also opened my eyes right. a bit because that's the day that I gave my life to Christ. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Before I would get paralyzed uh, um, and my hands and legs would twist to a certain angle that I could not hold like, like that to the point that it could almost hit here. Oh no. I couldn't hold a phone or call anybody. I couldn't breathe. So in that time I remember I was sweating, like I would lose at least five liters of water in that spiritual attack. I could feel something squeeze me mm -hmm. from this part right here, and it squeezes you till you're out of breath. So I could feel my life go. This is not a joke. Like I say this because I'm giving testimony, and if there's anybody out there that's going through something like this, you know what to do. Call the name Christ. Mm -hmm. So what? I remember a day, it was about 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. in my sofa, right. the spiritual attack started. Mm -hmm. I started panicking because you don't know what's going on. You yes. don't see who is fighting you. Yes. You but are. Something takes control exactly, of your body. Exactly, of your body. Mm -hmm. And then I, I felt my life being squeezed out of me. I could not breathe. I could not hold a phone to call people next to me to come and help me. So this is what I started doing. I started fighting. Mm -hmm. I didn't give up mm -hmm. and I started praying. Mm -hmm. That's the most beautiful thing about God and Christ. Did you and know to pray? I didn't know how to pray. Mm -hmm. But he came through. Why did he come through for me? Why did he hear my prayer? I'm sorry. It's just I still wonder why he came through. I don't know why he came through. Because he loves you and he chose you. <laughs> don't get it. Yeah. They don't get um, the secret behind our bags and sizes and all that. Mm. I love to carry big bags. <laughs> and uh, sometimes <laughs> I'm in a place and someone is like, okay, so do you have a fridge in there? <laughs> So spot. I know everything is in there. A <laughs> blanket and, and maybe your mattress, and mm. I'm like, yes. If if you look closely, you mm. definitely I feel find it. them in there. Uh, but mm. uh, that's that's a cute bag. Thank you. Let me just. It's a cute. Okay, so you are you a big bag person? Or I I do have a big to... bag in the car. Uh -huh. So this one is just to look cute when you get out. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Thank you. What? Are those three things that just can never miss mm. from your bag? I love a little lipstick. A little oh my god! Yes. I can never. Are, are girls? I are love girls thing. Yeah, yes, and, a, girls and some powder. Powder. Yes. yes, I like to look a certain way. Look cute and just simple, not right. so much makeup. Right. Yeah, just keep it simple. And then the third thing. Mm. My phone. Your phone. Oh, how about money? I'm a Jagavira. That's a man. Oh my God. Yeah, but that's, well, now, the, the guys you know, yeah? You know that a girl has to carry things mm. there. And yeah, when they feel like carrying a duvet. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's all right. Mm. Okay, so, um... That's just a light moment. Yes, um, I like it. Thank you very much. I needed it. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I I feel you. I, I feel you. you and, you know, just your emotion and everything because I can identify. Mm. See, when you're in a place where you feel, we, we can be so many things, mm -hmm. yeah? It's not necessarily that one is the worst person in the world. Uh, yeah. The things they've done are, you know, awful yeah. and horrible. But only you can know your relationship with God and just the grace and just how he took you in even when you didn't deserve it. True. And, and so I know where you're coming from. Yes, thank you. With, with that, are you able to explain the meltdown? Why, why is this so... Yeah. So, 
it's deep because I, it's actually why I did this song called Yan Sasida. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect him to come through. Mm -hmm. It had been a long time since I had been to church. Mm -hmm. It had been like I was in control. Like I told you, I'm mm -hmm. I, I'm the sort of person that's hands on. Right. I don't like to chill and wait for things to happen. I make things happen. Yes. So. I understood in this at this point in time that with all that going on, the only thing that could save me, and every time I called the name Jesus, mm -hmm. something let go of my body. Yeah. Yes. In that time where I was in that corner, in the hardest time of my life, I will never forget that moment. Every time I say, Jesus, Every time I said Jesus, something would let go. And then I said, oh, so this is a it. powerful name. Yes. This is the name I, yes, even is. though I find what Jesus. Yes, it is. So I knew, I, I had to understand how to use the name, how to thank God, how to, I had to do all that, mangu, mangu, so quickly, mm -hmm. how to learn how to pray for yourself yes. because when you pray for yourself mm -hmm. that prayer is very real and yes, the heart. exactly mm -hmm. so jesus is for now i know that jesus is the most powerful name it is. katonda is love mm -hmm. purely tariko he will never judge you he mm -hmm. understands you purely and that's why i got emotional because mm -hmm. sichikiriza you felt like you were not deserving of his I, I wasn't. I wasn't. That's the truth. I wasn't. I feel like I wasn't deserving of his love. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, how he came through, mm -hmm. I'm grateful, forever grateful. So I'm serving him. Amen. Paka last. Amen, <laughs> sister. Okay, so uh, clearly with your life before, you look back and you wish you hmm. didn't. Yeah. What's your biggest regret in life? My biggest regret, actually not knowing Christ earlier. Oh. That's my biggest regret. Because I know that if I didn't know some of these things, I would have done so much better way before. I would have organized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. My friends are here. Yes. Hi. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes, you were saying. Okay, so you regret knowing Christ a little late. Early. I feel like if I knew Christ a little earlier, mm -hmm. I would have been on another level or done things way better. Because this is the most beautiful place to be. Yes. I feel it on a daily basis. The peace of yes. mind, the blessings that yes. come with it, unexplainable. Like even to be they are working out, they are doing yes. this, they are doing that. Yes. I like it's, it. It's like a puzzle. You just sit back and watch it play. <laughs> I love it. I, <laughs> I love, love it too. <laughs> I love it too. Thank I know you. for sure. Mm. Okay. So while you were in the silence, mm. yeah, with all these things going on, did you have people? call and shake up on you your friends from um you know the secular industry yeah did they get it no they didn't get it mm -hmm. most people didn't understand it and and i understand them mm -hmm. but i know that i had to change for myself right. and kind of clear myself I, I had to do this for myself mm -hmm. and the journey that i wanted to take so most people in the secular world they're like no no come back and do these songs come back and let's go to this bar let's make this happen this right. it's hard it's mm -hmm. tough i'm still figuring out right. uh, i can't say that oh now i'm an like angel floating place. around it's, a, it's tough it's a transition, it's a transition mm -hmm. but i make my friends understand i tell them oh this is me now mm -hmm. and they are like yeah but yeah where is our match <laughs> mirror and you're like Adia, kudia. <laughs> I flavored this way. Nice. Yes. Okay. Um, the world is a bit harsh when it comes to like all these things and artists crossing over. Yeah. Many a times for the f artists that didn't return, um, <laughs> they'll say, ah, yeah, Guamu, the career you yeah. know, was on the ground, and then before you know it, Nasarawa, Jina, Kuba, Gospel. Yeah. Okay? 
you know, how I gained it out. Um, this is clearly not your story. It's, I think in, there are times in life mm -hmm. when people say what they say and right. and you let them say that. Mm -hmm. And then you know that, you know what, I'm doing this for myself because thinking about where God got me from, yeah. I'm not going to go back and right. go and do a song that is going to not represent what he right. did for me. Right. I have to right. Let's just find thank yourself you. in the same place. Exactly. It's like that love that he showed me. I can't just ignore and be like, oh, I'm better now, so I'm good later. Right. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we were in a very loud silence, and then boom, the very first song I had is your Amvidi um, Deo song. Which yes. Is so beautiful. Thank and you. It's, it's, it's encouraging. It seems like it's very personal for you. Tell us about this. I, I like songs like that because I'm kind of telling my testimony mm -hmm. through my music. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I didn't expect God to come to come through. I didn't expect him to be like, hey, yo, okay, let me help you out. Mm -hmm. Let me even bless you more. Let me do this more. Mm -hmm. So Amvidideo is just to say thank you to God. Amvidideo, katonda Amvidideo, talindekedera. It's true. Na chena lisi suwi da chiecho ate. You seem so happy. Hi, I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I'm for you happy. as well. Well, in case you haven't called this song for me, and there's a whole lot to learn. Now, um, we have a few questions here. And, uh, someone would love to know these spiritual attacks normally have a root. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's things that you you, you had uh, probably been dedicated to mm -hmm. in the past or you know just evil or you know mm -hmm. serving the devil we keep on hearing uh, secular artists you know just serving Do that. the devil yeah. and stuff so they would love to know that was this the backing for this no actually my spiritual attack somebody mm -hmm. some people several people because I, I'm I also say God speaks right. through dreams, through this and that. Yes. I know that somebody did this to me. Somebody was trying to end my life. Someone was? Yes. Uh, more than one person. More than one person? Yes. Were these industry people? Yes, industry people. Yes. So I it know. was more of a battle for? Kind of, yes. And stardom. Yes. And the issue is that God would reveal that to you. You would yeah. know who and how that came about. Right. And it would take forgiveness for, yeah. he, for him to heal you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And that's, that's what I would love for us to talk about for now. Now that you know the people mm. and stuff, we know that salvation has to come with forgiveness. And for you to be set free yes. totally, yes. you have to be able to forgive. And God has freely forgiven us. Mm -hmm. Have you forgiven these people? Yes, I had to forgive to be Do here. Do they know you know? Yes, one of them knows because I told them that I know, but I forgive you. What was their reaction? They ran away. They ran away. <laughs> 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 what do you see? <laughs> literally, 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 I tell you, someone just ran away. Yeah, I'm trying to eh, I said, God. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> no, like, I think they didn't expect me to be there. And they're like, first of all, they freaked out. Yeah. And then they started coming closer mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. they trying to say, to you? no, they didn't, mm -hmm. they didn't. They tried to come closer to me, trying mm -hmm. to kind of make it seem like it's fine. And I'm like, I know what you did, mm -hmm. but I forgive you. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they bad looking scene. But God is good, God is love. That's what I was supposed to do, to be free, to get here. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I can't imagine, but yes, forgiveness yeah. is key. Okay. Um, another question here is about your song, mm. Onyambanga, mm. which is a song I loved. I actually remember just like playing it back mm. over and over. It, it was a big song yeah. in, in, in my house. And then it felt like at the time you kind of were trying to get 
figure all things that out. Stuff. Did, did you know writing the song and singing it? Um, writing the song, I knew exactly mm -hmm. what I was saying because being in the secular world, we have this thing going on. Yes. But if I'm to go to church, isn't it even worse mm -hmm. in church? But that's how also the devil paints the picture for you to get scared and you're like, right. let me just stay out here because at the end of the day, those guys are fighting themselves. What could they do? Mm -hmm. So I was asking God to please guide me. That that is a prayer right there. He had you. Yeah, he had me. He, he just, had you. Nah, he, <laughs> yes, you never realized that song just might have pushed you through those times. I am telling you. It must have pushed you through yeah. those times. I mean, that's great. Mm. Okay, how has your life transformed? It's so different Since, now. Has it been a smooth transition? It's not very smooth, mm -hmm. but under, but I understand it. Yes. You and you, you get me. Mm -hmm. I understand the fact that most people don't understand mm -hmm. my relationship with Christ and they think it's a joke. They think it's mm -hmm. me playing a game or something. Yes. I, I, and they're waiting for the time you come out and say, ha, 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 ha that joke. I got so you. Good. Now I'm, I'm doing <laughs> secular music. I'm it, eh? You're not going to laugh in our face. I, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Yeah, because I, I this is different. Yes. And I, I've been... I'm born again Christian for two years, yeah. but I kept it because most people would go out and announce it and then front page. Yeah. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm taking the steps slowly mm -hmm. and giving my testimony. Yeah. Mpola, mpola. But I'm not going to flip on anybody. I'm mostly Christ, the one who came right. through for me. No. Okay, so you gave your life to Christ at that time, did mm. you later, I don't know, make a confession in a church or something or? I didn't go to, I go to church, yes. Yeah. Like, I go to Mutundu, by the way, yeah. Pastor Tom Mugera, because yes, he yeah. kind of helps with deliverance yeah. a lot. Uh -huh. And I was in need of deliverance. So that's where you were going before? Yes, I was, I went, I had to go there. When you were sick? Mm -hmm. When I was sick, were, yes. Okay. And that's where I learned how to pray. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> that's where I went. So my God, my <laughs> sister. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was telling these guys before, mm -hmm. like, you know, prayer that can shake all these cameras no, and just, stuff. No, that I, was a movie. <laughs> See a movie. A <laughs> See a movie. But, mm. Okay, but it can happen. Um, True. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for you. I Thank mean, you very clearly much. Clearly, you glow and you look Thank you. even better than before. I'm telling you. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> so, I just love that. Mm. Okay, um, let's let's talk about something. What's that? Something. I, I know you try. Um, <laughs> uh, I know you have a very gorgeous you know, daughter? Yes. Yes. Um, how is sibling, family, you know? Um, the family has been a bit challenging. Mm -hmm. Things have been up and down here and there. But truth is that God has blessed me yes. with a 13-year-old. Now she, she just met 13 last Aww. week. Mm -hmm. So I'm super happy about that. I'm engaged to be married. I'm super happy. <laughs> My diamond. Hey! Jesus oh, is Lord. Beautiful. <laughs> Congratulations. Jesus is Lord, yes, I tell you. Is. So I'm, I'm happy. Oh my God. I'm so happy. I do not know how to explain that. Trust God with your stuff right. and see how he works. Mm -hmm. Let God do some work in your life. You will see. Things will just this, this lucky man that put a ring on it. Uh, do they understand your journey and just where you are today spiritually and where you're mm. heading? Uh, He's a Christian too. Ah, mm. nice. So that makes it a whole lot easy. Stick. Mm. <laughs> it's stick. Mm. Okay, so musically, mm -hmm. let's get into it. You're doing great for yourself. Mm. Thank you. Um, I know it's it's a little bit much to take in and then like people just love you they loved you there yeah and they still love you today yeah um where do you see yourself um, mm. hit with this with this career yeah i um i hope 
for a concert. That's why I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've had that line very many times. Mm -hmm. But for me, I believe that if I'm serving the Almighty, yes. there's no way He can fail me. Right. He can't. He wouldn't. Mm. You, you, you can't put a price to that. Exactly. Okay. Um, I know for all of us, whether you might not be able to, you know, speak in tongues and cast out demons and stuff like that, yeah. but you, definitely the word of God mm. keeps you going. Do you yeah. have a favorite Bible? <laughs> yes, I do have it. It's God is love. That's first John's where's that? First John. Okay, let's let's Summer. try to find uh, what's that? First uh, first John four eight. First John God is love. Four eight. Um so first John four eight, if you will, says anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. Just that in the okay, uh, just the next one is in this the love of God was made manifest amongst among us that God sent his only son into the world that we might live through him. Mm. That's what the Bible says. I love this scripture. Thank Why you. does it resonate with you so much? I'm going back to my spiritual attack. I did not expect God to come through. Mm -hmm. Anyone else wouldn't have come through, yes. but he did. And I feel like that's pure love on a live right. way that I can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. Know. Okay, so girl, mm -hmm. you're trying to figure everything out and mm -hmm. as it is, it, it's a process. Um, you were with Pastor Bujingo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how is he? He's a cool guy. Well, I'm he's, sorry, he's a cool well, pastor. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cool guy still. <laughs> he's a he's a cool guy and we're trying to get him mm. to the show. Yeah. Are you friends? Yes, we are friends. Bonga, yes, to Bonga I mean. Do you think you can throw in a word? I can. Yeah. <laughs> you should. You should. Um, mm. Yeah, he's, he's a great guy. We'll definitely just love. Yeah. Just chat with him. and Yeah. yeah so that he encourages people out there. Okay, so uh, are you doing a concert there? Are you praying there? No, actually, one thing about, the, one thing about, about Pastor Bujingo mm. that I, I respect, yeah. He kind of saw me as grace and didn't kind of judge me like, huh? Because right. hmm. most people are looking at me like, hmm. And he kind of just opened the door. I right. sat with him. He explained to me. He told me to fast and pray. He told me it's okay. People right. don't have to understand your yeah. relationship with yes. Christ. It's and he, your exactly. So I respect the fact that he's cool enough yes. to kind of let me sit down with him because most people wouldn't and I appreciate him so much respect Pastor Bujingo. Right. Awesome right. guy. That's great. Uh, are you having churches uh, doors slammed in your face maybe when they don't quite get it or they think it's a publicity stunt? They think it's a joke mm -hmm. and I understand them yeah. as well. Uh, I people need time, yeah. and I'm I'm here. I will give them the time they need. Yeah. Yeah. But mainly, it doesn't stop my work. It doesn't right. stop me from the foundation work. It doesn't stop me from singing for Christ. It doesn't stop me from telling my testimony, mm -hmm. because I know that there's somebody out there that needs that this. It. Absolutely. True. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I know you, you've always been very kind and just giving. Uh, you have a charity foundation. Yes, I have. Tell us about it. Oh my God, I love my kids. I have many kids now. Mm -hmm. I have uh, 36 children in Iganga. Oh, yeah. I, nice. Yeah, I have, I have 18 in Mukono. Mm -hmm. I have uh, eight in Namgongo. I have two in Barara. Mm -hmm. And these are children that have some are orphans right. some have parents but the parents can't handle the situation mm -hmm. so we come through with simple things like a meal mm -hmm. by giving a meal these children stay at home instead of of joining the streets 
of going to the streets and starting drugs and doing this all all that crazy stuff so we start with the meal sharing the little we we have then to education and everything it's called Feed the Streets Foundation Feed the Streets Foundation, Foundation. and I'm excited to also serve God that way it's, it's a beautiful thing to do it's amazing I love it I love it it's, it's, it's priceless that's the biggest reward that we can have in life and congratulations Thank on you. your salvation on your engagement and Hello. everything so do we have a date <laughs> not yet but not it's yet, coming but it's coming okay <laughs> we're, we're here for read and thank you so much for taking off thank you time just to come and share mm -hmm. your testimony and just to really bless us thank, thank you, you so i'm much. honored to be here bless you love you uh, thank and you. i'm definitely praying with you every step of the way amen you're you're taking over amen. all the way thank okay you. so um <laughs> what can i say i'm touched i'm encouraged i'm, I'm moved but above everything i'm, I'm very happy for grace well stay with me mission three